Why get one guy from the captain sets when you can get two fucking machines? Ted Williams is making the debut for the squad, and I inserted him right and left field. If you didn't notice, too, I also got Jimmy Rollins. He was picked up, too, man, because... I'm look. I'm just looking for those power guys and the speed guys, and I needed a shortstop. I wanted to put the steroid junkie back in the starting rotation, and I did. So I wanted to pick up somebody at short. Thing was, is I was I was either going to just leave the steroid junkie at short, or just pick up and just pick up a uh, another guy in the starting rotation. But I don't know. I was just thinking about it, man. Why would I spend that? Because I was looking to spend a lot of stubs, too. I wasn't just looking to spend 10,000 stubs or something like that. And I was just thinking, my luck, my damn luck, why the hell would I spend so many stubs on somebody I'm probably never even going to be able to use? And Fernandez is finally on the hill. Jesus Christ, it has been a while since you guys have probably seen this guy. Nolan Ryan is still waiting in the wings waiting for his chance to take the mound yet again and this guy also had Ted Williams on his team too so this was going to be a slug fest I figured so I was yeah I was fuck I never even faced anybody yet with Ted Williams I don't even think I faced anybody with that pool holes either so this was going to be a very interesting matchup to say the least smoke the other way high and deep to left Gonzalez looks up, and this one is gone. My main man, Carl Crawford, was inserted back in the lineup, and he was angry. He was pissed off that he was sitting on the bench in favor of Andre Dawson. But the thing is, though, was I was sitting him on the benches because I was facing lefty after lefty. I faced about four or five lefties in a row. So that is the only reason why Crawford was sitting on the bench. It had nothing to do with performance. Crawford is still one of the best hitters on the team. So I put him back in. Thank God I'm, I'm able to take the field this game and face a righty. Ted Williams in his first at-bat is sending one pretty deep to left field. But that is just a lineout. You saw I was batting a 1,000 with him. I actually played a full game. Well, not a full game. What am I talking about? A three-inning game with him. And dude got disconnected or something like that. Like I said, this guy had Ted Williams... And I made a costly mistake. The inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here. Well, I think it's safe to say that that ball will never, ever, ever land. You can't get away with hanging curveballs over the middle of the plate, especially to Ted Williams. That is disgusting that I even did that. Of course, he makes me pay. And then next, wh what the fuck is going on with Pools, man? I know he has that 86 fielding. But seriously, I've had first baseman with, I had like Prince Fielder. Dude has like, what, 50 fielding or some shit? I had Ryan Howard on the team. Those motherfuckers were making better plays than Pools is making at first base. Pools has let more balls go by him than he has even picked up. So, I don't even know what the hell is going on with Pools, man. He is kind of pissing me off in the field. And a lot of people who ha a lot of people who have Ted Williams, I guess, are playing him at first base. Which would be an amazing idea, to be honest. But I do have Pools. But I'm like, fuck, what the hell? Pools with that 86 feeling, that is pretty much one of the main reasons I picked this guy up. Is because he has that amazing feeling. Yet, every single game, he's letting a ground ball go by him or some shit. He did make one really good play one game, I remember. He saved the game for the squad one game, I remember, 100%. And, yeah, he just made one good play. I don't even, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a little bit frustrating, man. Every time there's a ground ball to pool, so I'm just, like, praying. I'm praying that doesn't go by him. And, yeah, you saw that guy go deep again. Can't, I'm, just, I'm just making mistake after mistake with Fernandez on the hill. I was a bit rusty with this guy, man. Like, literally, I have been pitched with Fernandez in such a long time. I had no idea what I was even doing on the mound, pretty much. Because, yeah, you gotta get, I gotta get used back to his, you know, his uh, delivery and shit like that. Like, just get the timing right. And, Jesus, it just was just off. It was just completely off. And I was making some big mistakes early in this game. So, this guy takes the 3-1 to one lead. We are now in the bottom of the third with two down. Altuve is going down swinging, so... The way this game was going, early in this game, I thought this guy was going to run away with it. He gets the two early dingers, 
and he was just crushing the cover off the ball every single time he was making contact. So it wasn't looking good for me. And yet another hanging curveball, man. I was just making mistake after mistake. Luckily, though, that guy wasn't able to capitalize on that. Pujols is getting the walk to lead off this inning. I needed to just make this guy throw more pitches, man. I had so many pitches in the... I don't even remember how many I had, but I had so many pitches. This guy only had about 40, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 40 at this point. And Ted Williams is back up. Trying to rip one down the first baseline. Ah, oh, that is going foul. But then the next pitch is... Or a couple pitches later, I am just... How can you get better contact than that? This game has been trolling like I've never seen trolling before. Amazing contact. Jimmy Rollins, he wants to get some attention for being one of the new guys. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. Now that is what I'm fucking talking about, dude. That is what you do in a debut game right there. Tie the ball game up with a dinger. Jimmy Rollins does just that, and I'm pretty sure he has better hitting stats. Wait. I forget if he has better hitting stats versus righties or lefties, but the main reason why I picked this guy up is because I was looking for speed, and I know Jose Reyes is out there too, but I mean, Jimmy Rollins has pretty good power against one, I think it might be lefties. I think he has, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is lefties, like he has pretty decent power against lefties too, oh, that Jose Reyes doesn't have shit, he has shit power, he has really good contact obviously, but his power is garbage, and this Jimmy Rollins has pretty decent power against lefties. And he also, like, he only had, what, he has, like, 69 contact. That isn't, that isn't too bad, man. You can deal with that. Like, right, some people you just prefer to hit with. They can have, like, 20 contact, and you can just go out there and get base hit after base hit with those guys. And some hitting stats, I find that it's just, I don't know, it's just a matter of whether or not you have a good feel with that fucking guy at the plate and stuff like that, like his stance and his swing. You just have good feels, like, a good feel with certain guys at the plate. You can do work with them. And Altuve. The little man is getting it done. So we take the lead in this game going up 5-3. to three. I couldn't believe what I was seeing in front of my face. Thought this guy was going to just blow me away. So I put in Billy Wagner because this guy has shut the door to say that is, that is saying it lightly. That he shut the door every single time he's come in the game. And I need him to do some work because... I am fit. This guy had a lot of lefties in his lineup. I'm pretty sure. Is anyone else getting fucking sick and tired of seeing Ichiro? Like I am, honest to God, starting to get pissed off every time I see Ichiro. Like I'm starting to get angry every single time Ichiro comes up to the plate. I am getting angry. Like I don't, I don't hate the person, the actual person who has him in the lineup. I just fucking can't stand when Ichiro is at the plate. It is honest to God pissing me off. Ichiro was just one of those guys too. I find that like Corey Seager. And other guys, too. So many people have been telling me to get, like, Corey Seager and stuff like that because he's underrated and all this shit. I don't want to see this fucking guy in the game at all, let alone on this team. So no chance in hell I will ever be picking up Corey Seager. But it probably is just me, right? It's just me who only hates seeing Ichiro. I know probably, I know probably a lot of other people hate seeing Ichiro, too. But I'm, I am honest to God starting to get pissed off. Like, I am, like, I'm not even joking when I say that. I'm actually getting pissed off every single time I see Ichiro, uh, Ichiro up at the plate. Mostly because he fucking just kills me, too. So, we are now in the top of the seventh. It is getting late. And Billy Wagner is still dealing on the mound, striking out the side in the top of the seventh. So that is what you have to do when you come in late in the game. And this guy put in the role as Chapman, too. He's looking to shut the door as well. I figured there wasn't going to be that many more runs scored in this game. It was just going to be a pitcher's duel from now on out. And then a role as Chapman got Gary Carter to fly out right there. I actually made better contact on that than it may have looked. And that was also another troll from MLB. But Crawford goes down swinging. So after a leadoff walk, I am getting Ted Williams to pop out. That is a huge out. That is absolutely ginormous to get that guy out. And then Carlos Gonzalez is up next. Always got to be careful with this guy too. But he struggles against the lefties. And I'm getting him swinging. So I'm getting out of the eighth unscathed. So I'm probably going to go into the ninth inning with a two-run lead. Looking at one right there, high in in. I am not getting any calls, man. I know that was a strike, but I'm just talking in general. I'm not getting any help from the umpires, from the zebras behind the plate in the past couple games. It is just insane. Ted Williams is just flying out right there. That was, that was actually pretty decent contact again. So Ted Williams was kind of getting hosed this game, making good contact, but wasn't able to get a base hit or anything. Finished up the day 0 for, 0 for 4, I'm pretty sure. But do not worry. 
he will get on the board soon. Don't even say that he's overrated or some shit because apparently if you don't get a hit every single time with certain people, they're overrated. Ted Williams will get it going. This is going to get interesting, right? This guy put Matt Holiday in, and that is a couple inches away from tying the ball game. That was un... Oh, my Jesus. Not again, right? Going deep to left center this time, but that is not even to the warning track. That was go that was getting a little bit insane at the end of the game. I thought MLB was going to let this motherfucker come back in this game. And thank God, Billy Wagner shuts the door. He gets player of the game again. Every single time Billy Wagner has come in the game, he has just put up player of the game after player of the game.